I kept telling myself I didn't have anything to offer her, but that wasn't true. I had love. Pup, Doe, Ray, whatever the fuck her name was, I loved her more than what was normal, rational, or sane, and I would gladly rot in fucking prison with a smile on my face if I knew my girl was going to be okay. But I didn't know that. I couldn't know that. I should have known that motherfucker was going to fucking cross me. The notorious Brantley King, the pig said with a smirk as he got into the front seat. The plastic-like leather squeaked against his belt as he closed his door and started the engine. You'd think you'd have learned your lesson by now, boy. He laughed and shook his head. It was obvious this guy was getting some sort of sick pleasure out of being the one to put me in cuffs. King, I corrected him defiantly. Nobody called me Brantley but her. Excuse me? he asked, raising an eyebrow at me through the rearview mirror. I sat up straight, meeting his gaze with mine as if I were staring straight through to his pussy-ass soul. They call me King, motherfucker. The rage inside me grew to epic proportions. That's when I noticed the detective didn't turn onto the main road, but instead drove straight onto the path through the woods. This guy was no fucking cop. I spotted his gun. He'd set it on the dash. It was a judge. Not the kind of gun that was standard police issue. This guy wasn't taking me to jail. He was taking me to ground. There was no time to waste. My girls needed me. More than that, I needed them. The moron had cuffed me in front. That should have been my first indicator that something was off. A real cop would have never done that unless he was transporting a nonviolent criminal. Which wasn't me. Using the chain that connected my cuffs, I trapped the fake detective's neck against the headrest and yanked back with all my might until I felt like my biceps were going to explode. His hands left the wheel and flailed about as he tried to connect with my head, but I dodged him by lowering myself behind the seat. The car veered off the path and bounced from side to side as it ran over a patch of knee-high roots. The pressure mounted behind my eyes as I tugged back on the cuffs, squeezing tighter and tighter. I didn't release my hold until the car came crashing to a stop and every inch of life had drained from his body. The fake cop was right. I would never be anything more than the notorious Brantley King.